Hello and good day, welcome to our video channel, God's Promises. And today's video will be a fast, concise overview. Book of Jeremiah, Chapter 11. Let's get started now. Jeremiah Chapter 11 continues with the theme of covenant and judgment that is present throughout the book. The chapter begins with God commanding Jeremiah to proclaim the terms of the covenant that he made with the Israelites when he brought them out of Egypt. The terms of the covenant are clear, if the Israelites obey God and follow his commands, they will be blessed and prosper, but if they disobey, they will be punished. However, the people of Judah have not kept their end of the covenant. They have turned away from God and have followed other gods. They have broken the covenant that they made with God and have not repented of their sin. As a result, God declares that he will bring calamity upon them. In verses 9 to 13, the Lord tells Jeremiah that the people of Judah have conspired against him and have made a covenant with other nations and with foreign gods. The Lord declares that he will punish them for their treachery and disobedience. He will send disaster upon them, and they will cry out to him for help, but he will not answer them. In verses 14 to 17, the Lord tells Jeremiah not to pray for the people of Judah because he will not hear their prayers. He declares that the people have made their choice, and they will suffer the consequences of their actions. The Lord also warns Jeremiah not to trust in his fellow countrymen, as they too have turned away from him. The chapter ends with Jeremiah declaring that the Lord is righteous and just in his judgment. He acknowledges that the people of Judah have sinned against God and deserve the punishment that is coming to them. The lesson that can be drawn from Jeremiah chapter 11 is the importance of keeping our promises to God. The covenant that God made with the Israelites was a promise that they would follow his commands, and in return, he would bless them. However, the people of Judah did not keep their end of the bargain. They turned away from God and followed other gods, breaking the covenant that they had made with him. In the same way, we too make promises to God when we become followers of Christ. We promise to follow his commands and to live our lives in a way that is pleasing to him. However, we often fall short of our promises, just as the people of Judah did. We are tempted by the world and by our own desires, and we stray from the path that God has set before us. But just as the Lord punished the people of Judah for their disobedience, he will also discipline us when we fail to keep our promises to Him. The consequences of our sin may not always be as severe as the punishment that the people of Judah received, but we will still suffer the consequences of our actions. Therefore, we must strive to keep our promises to God and to follow His commands. We must resist the temptation to follow the ways of the world and to turn away from Him. We must repent of our sins and seek forgiveness when we fall short of our promises. And we must trust in the Lord, knowing that He is righteous and just in His judgment, and that He will always fulfill His promises to us. Thank you for visiting us today. Please share with us your favorite Bible chapter, below in the comments section. Don't forget to like and subscribe, it really does help our channel grow. Looking forward to see you back here for our next video. Always take good care.